Hi guys, I'm Convict Tech and this time I'm gonna review a great mini PC from Pippo which serves as an 8.9 inch tablet too. It is the Pippo X9 and let's get to it. The packaging is rather large and inside we only get the Pippo X9 itself, the AC adapter rated at 12 volts 2.4 amps, a warranty card from Pippo and the quality control pass card. Unfortunately, we don't get an HDMI cable and you have to buy it yourself, but for the price of the device we shouldn't be complaining. The Pippo X9 is a very strange and interesting device because as I mentioned earlier, it can also be used as a tablet too. The only drawback of this is that it is not independent because it doesn't have a built-in battery, so it will have to be always connected into a wall power socket. This is not entirely a bad thing because you can always have it connected to your living room table and have it there as a permanent tablet which you can connect to your TV too. The top side is almost entirely covered by the 8.9 inch IPS LCD touchscreen which has a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels and at the bottom bezel we have the windows start button which can also be used as the android home button at the left side we only have one of the two stereo speakers the other one is located at the right side along with a power button a volume rocker two usb 2.0 ports a power led and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack looking at the back we find the remaining ports which are a micro SD card slot, two more USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI output, the Ethernet port, a reset hole and a DC input. We can also see some ventilation grills and the external adjustable Wi-Fi antenna. If we flip it upside down, we see the rubber pads with, which help our device to stay in place and some more ventilation grills making sure there are no heat related issues. So, to sum it up, the available ports and hardware components are a power button, a volume rocker, four USB 2.0 ports, a power LED, a 3.5 5mm headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, the HDMI output, the Ethernet port, a reset hole, and the DC input. When you power on the device, you have the option to choose from Windows and Android. Let's start with Windows. You can choose to have tablet mode or desktop mode. I always choose desktop mode because I think it's more versatile. You have the full version of Windows 10, which means that you can use the Pippo X9 to do everything you did on your standard desktop PC. Like running multiple apps simultaneously, go to the control panel to mess with the system settings, and more. And since you all know what you can do with Windows 10 already, I'm gonna focus on the device's specs, performance, and video playback. The Pippo X9 have some serious specs under the hood which according to CPU Z are a quad-core Intel Batrial Z3536F CPU running at 2.16 GHz max, an Intel 8 graphics GPU, 2 GB of DDR3 RAM, 32 or 64 GB of internal memory, Bluetooth 4, Wi-Fi 802.11bgn, dual boot Windows 10 and Android 4.4, and an 8.9 inch capacitive IPS LCD touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. In order to show you the device's performance, I ran some benchmarks. The first one is GFX Bench and here are the results. Next I ran several 3D mark tests and I got these scores. Finally, I ran PC Benchmark and got these results.
Besides Windows 10, you can also run Android 4.4. It runs very smooth and you can personalize it as much as you want by changing wallpapers, adding widgets on your home screen, downloading your favorite apps and more. The Wi-Fi reception of the device is excellent and if you choose to use Android, you should know what to expect, so I run some benchmarks and video tests to show you the device's performance. The first test I run was GFX Benchmark and these are the results. Next I run Antuntu Benchmark and got this score. Here you can see a video playback comparison of both operating systems. Kodi runs battery smooth on Windows 10 and the test videos I tried had excellent playback except from the H.265 ones which were unwatchable due to very low frame rate. I wasn't impressed by the video playback capabilities when running Android though because it was laggier than Windows 10 in most occasions. All the videos playbacked from an external 2.5 inch. 1TB hard drive attached to a USB port without the need of an extra external power supply. I have to mention that while running the benchmarks and video tests, temperature reached at 87 degrees Celsius, but the device presented no problem at all and maintained its smooth operation. Gaming experience on the Pipo X9 is very good. You can use external gamepads, such as the Xbox 360 controller to play your games, or even the built-in touchscreen. The variety of games you can choose is very large because you can either download the ones included in the Windows Store and Google Play Store or play other platform games through emulators. The Pipo X9 is an excellent device combining desktop PC, media player and tablet capabilities and given that you can run two great operating systems with no problems, its price point is very low for what it offers. If you have a Pipo X8 and need a bigger screen, then by all means upgrade to the Pipo X9, but if the X8 covers your needs, then there is no point upgrading. Pros, dual boot Windows 10 and Android 4.4, 4 USB 2.0 ports, built-in 8.9 inch IPS LCD touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels and excellent performance, excellent Wi-Fi reception, tablet capabilities, very good technical specifications, great video playback on Windows 10, built-in stereo speakers, price, cons, not so good video playback when running Android. Temperature reaches at 87 degrees Celsius, but with no problem for the device's operation whatsoever. Poor packaging content. This is my review guys, I hope you liked it. And as always, for more unboxings, reviews and tutorials, subscribe, share and follow me. Thanks and bye bye.